Hello, welcome to this tutorial video for ADSR. Mark here. Today we're going to do, well, it's like a high pitch conga. However, once we've done the patch, I'd like to show you something that kind of makes this patch a multi purpose percussion sound of the conga wooden variety, if you like. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to instigate my blank patch, and of course, it's Christmas Eve, so this isn't going to be a long tutorial. I don't want you all watching tutorials on Christmas Eve when you should be enjoying yourself. Right, anyway, so we're just going to start with a blank patch, and this is the simplest patch on the, cra on the face of the earth. Basically, it requires a comb filter, a shaper, a distortion if you've got 2.7, but we'll leave that off and we'll, we'll leave Shaper off as well. A reverb and an EQ. And that is the say, is that, that's the patch. So, high pitch conga. Okay, yeah, the first thing we're going to do with the comb filter is change comb to dissonant. So we get this type of sound. Now that gives us the basis for the type of sound that we're after. Um, we're just going to mess around with the settings on the comb filter a little bit. Let's detune it up a little bit. Just put it to about 24. And the dampening will give us the sound we're looking for. As soon as we push the dampening up, listen to what happens. There. So it's in this area somewhere that you're looking for that conga type sound. What I'll do is I'll just go to the output, turn the volume up there. I'll turn the volume up there, and I'll turn the volume up there. That's a great sound. I love that sound. Now, all we're, that's really our sound. All we're going to do now is tidy it up, really. So what we want to do, really, if it's a bit loud... Now, we'll just leave the input as it is, maybe. Mess around with the width to make it mono, stereo, kind of find the place you like, you can mess around with the feedback amount, but I think it's okay where it was. You could even bring some of the dry signal in again. But again, it's just, this is a simple, simple sound. What I do like to mess around with is a bit of distortion. And bring the tone. Until you find a tone that you really like. And I normally like it about there somewhere. Yeah, that sounds good to me. So that's really your comb filter set up. And it's amazing what you can do just with a comb. I think it's great. The comb filter is excellent. Now that we've got that simple basic sound, we'll mess around with the amplitude envelope. Just to make our sound a little bit tighter. Now it's up to you how tight you want your sound. I like mines like that, really. Pretty tight. Now, am I going to am I going to utilise some velocity on this? Because what I could do in here, we could use the velocity, and we can just add a little bit for a bit more movement in the sound, depending on. That sounds okay. Now I've got a little pattern here. It's not really a bongo or a sorry a conga pattern, but at least I can listen. Okay. Okay, that sounds all right. But of course, more sustain and decay. You can have a deeper, longer sound. But for this, and I call this a kind of high conga sound. I like it to be very short. Okay, really, that is it. The only thing to do, really, is add effects. Now, if you've got Zebra 2.7, you'll have this new distortion plugin. And you can really mess around with the settings here and get a severe, severe sound, but um, that's up to you. I, I would imagine a lot of people won't have it, so we'll just stick to what's in 
6 at the moment. So we've got the shaper, I'm just going to put that onto the shape setting. And just really increase the output. Because remember, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of this as a, a high conga sound. So that's what I'm aiming for here. But remember, watch your clipping. Okay, that's about right. Reverb. Reverb on a sound like that. Yeah, well. Be adventurous. I'm just doing it to give it a little bit of space, but mess around with the sounds. As you can hear, it's really changed the tonality. So just find something that you like. Okay, that sounds okay, and then you can just EQ it. Okay, that sounds about right to me. And again, these are all very personal, but it's great. I think it's fantastic how with such a simple patch, you can have such a really nice sound and you don't have to use these kind of conga samples that are all over the internet. You've got your own sound and with some adjustments, you can do all kinds of things, which I'll show you in other videos, of course. But I did mention something at the beginning that I wanted to show you how this is like a multi-purpose patch. Right, okay, so here, it's like a, what I would call my high conga. What about an octave up? That sounds like a, like a drumstick hitting the side of a drum to me. Or a wood block. Round about there. So you've got... So you've got mid congas round about C3, eh, uh, low, high congas, wood block, C4, C5, down to C4, almost like drumsticks, but then you go down to like C2, really, really nice wooden sounds. That's almost like, almost like a djembe. It's like a snare. That's down a couple of octaves from C3. So as you can see, it's a real multi-purpose patch, that one. And the great thing about it is, of course, because all you have to do is move a couple of octaves. If you create a MIDI patch with the sounds on all different octaves, so say, so let's just pick some gaps. Something I like to do when I'm programming drums, just fill in the gaps. See what happens. So there you have it. It's there from that one comb filter. We've got this. To me, that's a great patch, so multi-purpose and should help you out a lot, especially if you make a lot of music with uh, percussive sounds, because it's just a touch of a couple of things, and you know, you just touch, 
you just change some of this stuff in the in the comb filter and you've got a whole host of other sounds so i hope you enjoyed this video it's just a nice short one christmas eve after all hope you all have a brilliant christmas hope santa's good to everybody and um i will be posting the absinthe video tomorrow as well so no rest for the wicked as they say but have a great christmas and i hope to see you all very soon thanks for watching